Well, I'll admit I can't disagree with Dean's statement here. Nazi bastards. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 13 of Supernatural Season 8. Everybody hates Hitler, and you'll have to forgive me if I had a little bit of a kind of PTSD flash about the episode where they did go, in fact, go back in time and they did kill Hitler, and it was probably one of the biggest disappointments of this entire show, considering the caliber of what they were doing. This one doesn't have anything to do with that, but it does have to do with some Nazi hoodoo woodoo and coming into the modern age and some interesting Jewish culture lore that was cool. I do remember hearing that Supernatural started to dip into a bunch of different kind of mythoses rather than the normal American kind of ghost story apocalypse due to Christian stuff as the show went on after season five. They did a little bit of it in season six and seven, but this one is already showing that with the golem, which just to blow your minds, that's Lurch fucking lurch you remember him from the new adams family now i'll admit some of you might have not have watched the show or you didn't like it it was one of the first sitcom shows i ever watched as a kid and i thought it was funny and to see that lurch is here in this episode of the giant clay golem was pretty cool i liked it i like how they made use of that supernatural element that kind of mythos and lore to his character as best as they could with a supernatural budget in terms of being being clay i thought this was like the discount version of dr jekyll and mr hyde from the league of extraordinary gentlemen yes i know i'm referring to a really bad movie but i always thought that the mr hyde looked really cool and scary in that movie and this kind of made me think of that this episode is revolving around a rabbi who was part of a men of letters group that was taking down Nazis who were dealing with occult and bullshit back during the Second World War. This rabbi is burned alive by an old Nazi that they didn't kill uh, and has been kept alive through hoodoo hoodoo and now his grandson has been entrusted with the golem to protect him but he has to try and figure out how to stop these Nazis but he doesn't really know how because he doesn't know anything about the culture and about the history of his people and Sam and Dean are thrown into this to try and help him and take down some Nazis. I liked how this episode came together. I like just the lore behind it. I love anytime the Nazis get shit kicked out of them. And I like the Golem. I really did like how the Golem was introduced into the story and some of the gore. Like they don't hold back on a few things. There's maybe like a fairly large continuity error at the very beginning of the episode where the Golem supposedly takes out the Nazi compound and then he only gets shot in the chest when he walks into the room, despite the fact that you've been hearing hours of gunfire beforehand. But I like how they built up to it, and then when you see him, you're like, wow, I'm really kind of weirded out, but also very intrigued in what the fuck you are. I think that Sam has a face at one point that just perfectly summarizes what my feelings were about this episode. <laughs> so that's a golem? Yes. I like how the kid does go through his own kind of self-discovery through the help of the Gollum and the Nazis, but even though the Gollum's not exactly forthcoming, the brothers are kind of helping him out with that. I like the villain of this episode, and I love how they take him out. But you will never kill all the fuel. And I like how it comes to a conclusion, and you're kind of curious about where they're going to go on their own adventure. If I'm correct, the kid comes back. I think in season 10, but I don't remember. I also know that he, I think the Golem doesn't come back. At least I didn't see that on the IMDb. The fact that Lurch was still in this episode is still so funny to me. I thought the humor was good. I thought the action was good. I thought the content, the lore was good. Comparison to other World War II Nazi-esque episodes, the only other one that I think is better than this one was the one where Dean goes to the submarine, and I think that was season 11. Admittedly, it might be a little bit light on kind of content, but I enjoyed how the episode flowed through, and the humor, and the elements, and the lore. Like, I I'll keep saying that, but it was really cool to see this and look it up a bit. But aside from the main story, the very big thing that this episode introduces to us is the bunker. This would be the brothers' home for the remainder of the show. This was going to be an iconic set for them. And also it probably helped out in production because they never had to reuse or remake anything in this studio again. This got you so often that eventually they would actually dub the studio the Supernatural Studio. There is a plaque outside it to commemorate it. But yeah, this is probably one of the most important sets 
that was ever made in Supernatural history. But in the end, my review for Everybody Hates Hitler is a 5 out of 7. This is a very solid Monster of the Week episode. This is one of the better ones, and I like the, the history and the ideas behind it. But those are my thoughts about this episode. Let's see what you guys have to say. The only thing about this episode I like is Sam and finding the bunker, which ultimately becomes their home for the rest of the series. Besides that, this episode is so bad to me. Even when I rewatched it, I definitely don't like this one. One of the worst episodes of season eight for me. Very interesting, Angela. I kind of wanted to know more why you didn't like it. This episode is one of my favorite cold opens of the series. As I mentioned before, being in the bunker and having a home with luxuries and a library book lover here, and everything about it really gives a home comfort feel, like I'm home from a stormy night, chilling by the fire with a book. As with the main story, I found it weird how it's also about a grandpa and a legacy, uh, etc. Although it was a bit weak, and I disliked the grandson who inherited the golem. This showed just how big the supernatural world was beyond the boys. Uh, the Everybody Hates Hitler is one of my favorite episodes of the season and one of my favorite monsters of the week in the series. The Mental Letter Bunker is a fun set for the show and it's nice for the Winchesters to finally have a home. Although I miss a lot of the creativity of the hotels they stayed in, the Thule are also fun villains until season 12 where they made to be a fit, pitiful joke. Oh, I don't even know. They, they can't believe they come back. I especially... Wait, is that the bad Hitler episode? I especially love the Golem mythology explorer. Without making my comment too long, I absolutely love the humor in the episode. It's nice that the Thule resurface as a threat from time to time in the series, but it's a shame that Aaron and the Golem don't fight alongside the Winchesters when it ha that happens. Yeah, from what I've gathered, uh, Lurch doesn't come back. That's it. He he's done um, with this. The kid does, though. This episode is known for its mix of supernatural elements and historical references as it delves into not the theme of Nazi occultism and the pursuit of supernatural power. It also explores the concept of the golem, a creature made out of clay that is brought to life by mystical means to protect its creator or fulfill a specific mission. Overall, the episode is generally well received by fans of Supernatural as it contains action, humor, supernatural, mythology in a compelling way. Also, I used to confuse this episode for I Killed It. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's what happened to me. Uh, when I th saw what this episode was. The idea of the golem was an interesting one that could have worked, but the execution wasn't there story-wise. I, yeah, that's why uh, you and Ga Angela here, I don't understand because I thought it worked, at least um, from my perspective, but maybe I might be wrong. Everyone Hates Hitler is has one of the best episode starts in the series, including uh, introducing us to the bunker, the Winchester Batcave. Unfortunately, the rest of the episode is anything but, with the whole Nazi plotline being dull, and the guy with a golem being sane, nothing special, and the whole episode is mediocre. It's kind of interesting how you guys had either people liked it, or they didn't like it. It was a very yin and yang, like a very uh, polar opposite in this. Kind of interesting. All right, guys, that's all for me on this one. Now we have trial and error. So make sure to give me your guys' thoughts about that episode in the next review, and I'll read those off. We are almost 10 episodes away from the ending of this season. I'll admit it's been kind of odd to like blast through it, but I'm very curious at this point. I'm just at the end of October to see what you guys have been saying about the episode. So I'll be happy on that end at the very least. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.